What's going on guys, TTL here, going to be going over my top three MLB plays for today, June 19th, 2024. Had a beautiful day yesterday, both in VIP and um, a good day in free picks. We went two out of three yesterday. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that recap real quick. So we had Bailey Falter. This had bumped down to four by the time I made a video on it, but I told you guys I would still take it. Um, he would have cashed that as well. He only got three strikeouts, so he cashed that for us. And then we had Jose Altuve under one and a half total bases. That cashed for us. And then we had Nick Lodolo under six and a half Ks. And he went seven or eight innings, man. Just really unfortunate. Um, just his pitch count was super, super low. I, I knew he was in the mid 80s pitches or either high 70s pitch count whenever he got that seventh strikeout to just make us uh, take the L there. Very unfortunate, but it happens. Um, we can control our research, but not the players. We went two out of three to still a beautiful day, a 66% hit rate yesterday. We'll definitely take that for us, guys. Um, really quick before I get started for today's picks, though, if you guys are interested in VIP, $20 a month, you get every single one of my slips. We're on a heater right now. We went up 10 units on Better yesterday. We went up like six units on Thunder Pick, which is a sports book. We went up like seven or eight units on Prize Picks, and we went up units on Underdog as well. So just around the board, we are killing it. And if you don't profit on your first day, you actually get your $20 refunded and you keep your month long membership. So money back guarantee, guys, definitely recommend it. Get in that VIP. Um, the link is in the comment and in the description. So go check it out, guys. I'll see you in the Discord and in VIP. And let's get into today's video. Oh, also, really quick, guys, if you're interested, sign up to Prize Picks, Underdog, all those websites using code TTL. Helps me out, gets you a 100% deposit match up to $250 as well. But let's get into today's picks. Let's go ahead and click that. Click that. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, okay, first pick of the day, Hunter Brown versus Garrett Crochet, under one and a half, um, under 0.5 first inning runs allowed. So this is just a no run first inning. Um, if you're familiar with sports books, you know what these are. Um, basically just saying that the Astros White Sox game is not going to have a run in the first inning. Um, as long as these pitchers are starting. So as long as these two star are the starting pitchers, one of them doesn't get DNP'd, um, this play will go through. Now, I love it because if one of these pitchers does not start, obviously that changes the whole game, and this will DNP the play. So obviously that's really nice as well. Um, and let's just, uh, there's not too much to look at. I will show you guys Hunter Brown and Garrett Crochet's stats really quick, but overall really, really liking this. Um, and let's just take a look guys, uh, really quick. If you're new to DGF, use code limit 25% off your first month. Highly recommend it. AI slip generator. There's nothing up right now cause it's only five in the morning, but it'll give you your best positive EV slips. And then they have the optimizer, which compares sports book lines over to those, uh, prize picks on under underdog lines. So definitely recommend it. Let's go to outlier though. Start betting. And then we're going to click on props, MLB, players, and let's search up Hunter Brown and then crochet, apply. And we can see under five and a half hits allowed is favored. Under four and a half hits allowed is favored. Um, Hunter Brown under two and a half earned runs total is favored. Um, crochet under one and a half earned runs. That's his line. That's what it's at. Um, barely plus money. Like this game is not supposed to be very high scoring. Um, both of these uh, pitchers are pretty good at getting strikeouts as well. Crochet's line is at six and a half. Hunter Brown's line is at five and a half or six. So definitely liking this. I don't think either of these pitchers are going to give up too many runs. Um, and I definitely don't think any of the either of these teams are going to be good enough to get a run in the first inning. So let's go ahead and lock in the under 0.5 first inning runs loud. And uh, let's move on to play number two for today. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Play number two is going to be Kevin Gosman under six and a half pitcher strikeouts versus Boston. So really like this matchup and um, really like Gosman under today. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the research for that one as well. 
So let's search up Gosman right here. Apply under six and a half strikeouts. We can see minus 130, minus 139, minus 140. Depending on where you take it, you're getting around, excuse me, minus 140 odds um, on average here. Over his last five, he's went under in three out of five. Last 10, he's went under in seven out of 10. And then in 2024, he has went under in 11 of 14 games, 79%. He's only went over this in three games this season. He's failed to exceed this. The, we can see the outlier insides right here. He's failed to exceed this in 13 of his last 16 games. So absolutely loving this at home this season he's went under in all seven games he's played this season so loving this he's pitching five to six innings per game on typically um his strikeout rate 23.8 percent which is on the higher end um 65 65th percentile 23.8 percent and i will also say boston batting versus right-handed pitchers they tend to strike out as well I do apologize, guys. I guess I'm tired. I don't feel tired, though. I really do apologize. But um, Boston batting versus right-handed pitchers, 23.9% K rate in 2024, 23.4% in the last 30. So obviously they do strike out a lot, but I don't think Gosman's going to be able to get over six and a half pitching strikeouts today. We can just take a look. I mean, he's, he's averaging nine strikeouts per nine innings. I think he gets five to six innings. I think he gets five or six strikeouts. Um Every game at home this season, he's went under, and I don't think that changes today. So let's go ahead and uh, lock that in, guys, and let's go on to play number three in our final play of the day, which is going to be Stephen Kwan under 0.5 runs. Now, this is for Cleveland. Um, I don't think Cleveland scores very much today in general, um, but we'll take a look. I also like some under... Uh, Hits, runs, RBI, and some under bases as well for other players. But we're just going to get into Stephen Kwan today. Um, under 0.5 runs. And let's take a look at the research here. So under 0.5 runs, we can see we can we are getting amazing odds on prize picks at minus 119. BetMGM has it at minus 140. And DraftKings has this at minus 145. Um, over his last five games, he's went under in four out of five. Last 10 He's went under in four out of 10. Now we can see he's went under four in a row. But before that, he was absolutely crushing it. Um, in 2024, he's went under in 18 of 44 games, 41%. And I know that doesn't look too great. Um, we can see it's very streaky. He'll go over in like four or five games in a row and then go under in a few games in a row. Obviously, this is dependent on the team he's against as well as the pitcher he's against. Um, at home this season, he's went under in 42%. And then the insight, he has failed to exceed this in four of his last five games, as we've seen. So I'm really liking this versus Brian Wu. Um, in 2024, we can take a look versus right-handed pitchers specifically. And we can see a big difference already. So he goes from 18 of 44 games. And then when you look at right-handed pitchers, 17 of 33 so left-handed pitchers, he actually has went over in 10 of 11 games. But since he's against a right-handed pitcher today, that really, really helps us. 17 of 33 games, 52%. He's gone under. In his last 10, he's went under in 6 of 10. The head-to-head -head matchup, he's went under in 6 of 8. I just really like this, especially in this matchup. We can see versus right-handed pitchers, his average goes down from a 3.398 to a point three seventy seven as WOBA goes down, Bobbitt goes down, Brian Wu earn run average does go up a little bit versus left handed batters, but nothing that's going to really change too much for us. And when we take a look, we can say we can see that Brian Wu doesn't have data for any of the batters on Cleveland currently, so we're a little bit lost there. We don't really know what's going on there. Um, so we don't we don't have that data. But I really, really do like this play today. I don't think Cleveland are going to score too many runs, maybe two earned runs today. And I don't think Juan is going to be one of those runs. So thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. Take advantage of that money back guarantee and these 100% deposit matches using code TTL. I will see you guys uh, in the Discord and I'll see you guys when we cash.